Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Our topic is appendicitis. Appendicitis is an inflammation of the appendix, a finger-shaped pouch that projects from your colon on the lower right side of your abdomen. Appendicitis causes pain in lower right abdomen. However, in most people, pain begins around the navel and then moves. As inflammation worsens, appendicitis uh, pain typically increases and eventually becomes severe. Appendicitis is an inflammation of the appendix. It's a medical emergency that almost always requires surgery as soon as possible to remove the appendix. Histologically, five types of appendicitis were differentiated. First, acute appendicitis, two forms, acute ulceroflegmenous appendicitis with or without perforation and acute superficial appendicitis. Second, chronic appendicitis. Third, lymphatic hyperplasia. Fourth, submucous fibrosis. Fifth, rare diseases. Now the causes of appendicitis. A blockage in the lining of the appendix that result in infection is a likely cause of appendicitis. The bacteria multiply rapidly causing the appendix to become inflamed, swollen and filled with pus. If not treated, the appendix can rupture. Appendicitis happens when the appendix gets blocked often by poops or uh, uh, a foreign body, some, something inside that is not uh, supposed to be there or sometime due to the cancer. Blockage may also result from infection since the appendix can swell in response to any infection in the body. Now the symptoms of the uh, appendicitis, classical symptoms and less common symptoms. In classical symptoms, the classic symptoms of appendicitis include pain in your low, lower right belly or pain near your navel that moves lower. This is usually the first sign. Next, loss of appetite, nausea and vomiting soon after belly pain again. Swollen belly, fever of 99 to 102 Fahrenheit, cannot pass gases. Next is the less common symptoms. These are other less common including dull or sharp pain anywhere in your upper or lower belly, back or rear end, painful or difficult pain, vomiting before your belly pain start, severe cramps, constipation or diarrhea with gases. Diagnosis. Diagnosing appendicitis can be tricky. Symptoms are often unclear or similar to those of other illnesses including gallbladder problems, bladder or urinary tract infection, Crohn diseases, gastritis, kidney stones, intestinal infection and ovary problem. These tests can help diagnose appendicitis. Examination of abdomen to look for inflammation. Next is the urine test to rule out a urinary tract infection. Next is the rectal exam. Blood test to see whether the uh, body is fighting an infection. CT scans and ultrasound. Physical examination to assess your pain. The doctor may apply gentle pressure on the painful area. When the pressure is suddenly released, appendicitis pain will often feel worse, signaling that the adjacent peritoneum is inflamed. Next is the blood test. This allows doctor to check for a high uh, white blood cell count, which may indicate an infection. Urine test. Doctor may want patient to have a urine urinalysis to make sure that a urinary tract infection or a kidney stone is not causing the pain. Imagine test. A doctor may also recommend an abdominal x-ray, an abdominal ultrasound, computerized tomography or CT scan or magnetic resonance imaging. MRI to help confirm appendicitis or find other causes for the pain. 
Now the treatment appendicitis is almost always treated as an emergency surgery to remove the appendix which is called an appendectomy is the standard treatment for almost all cases of appendic appendicitis generally if doctor suspect that patient have appendicitis they will quickly remove it to avoid a rupture Uh, expectations during an appendectomy before appendix is taken out the patient will take antibiotic to fight infection the patient usually get general anesthesia meaning he will be a slave for the procedure the doctor remove appendix through a 4 inch long cut or with a device called a, a laparoscope a thin telescope like tool that let them see inside belly this procedure is called laparoscopy if patient have peritonitis the surgeon will also clean out belly and drain the pus patient can get up and move around within 12 hours after surgery he should be able to go back to normal routine in 2 to 3 weeks if he had a laparoscopy recovery is faster there are two types of surgery to remove the appendix the standard method is an open appendectomy a newer less invasive method is a laparoscopic appendectomy open appendectomy a cut or incision about 2 to 4 inch long is made in the lower right hand side of belly or abdomen the appendix is taken out through the incision next is the laparoscopic appendectomy uh, in this case this method is less invasive that means it is done without a large incision instead from one to two tiny cuts are made a long thin tube called a laparoscope is put into one of the incision it has a tiny video camera and surgical tools the surgeon looks at a tv monitor to see inside abdomen and guide the tools the appendix is removed through one of the incisions after an appendectomy call the doctor if patient have uncontrolled vomiting increased belly pain dizziness blood in vomit or stool increased pain and redness where your doctor cut into your belly fever pus in the wound now the complication associated with the appendicitis left untreated an inflamed appendix will burst expelling bacteria and debris into the abdominal cavity the central part of your body that hold your liver stomach and intestine this can lead to peritonitis a serious inflammation of the abdominal cavity is lining the peritoneum it can be deadly unless it is treated quickly with a strong antibiotics and surgery to remove the pus sometimes an abscess forms outside an inflamed appendix scar tissue then walls of the appendix from the rest of your organs this keeps the infection from spreading but an abscess abscess appendix can tear and lead to peritonitis a ruptured appendix a rupture is spread infection throughout your abdomen or peritonitis possibly life threatening this condition requires immediate surgery to remove the appendix and clean your abdominal cavity a pocket of pus that forms in the abdomen if appendix burst you may develop a pocket of infection or abscess in most cases a surgeon drains the abscess by placing a tube through your abdominal wall into the abscess the tube is left in place for about 2 weeks and the patient given antibiotics to clear the infection once the infection is clear he will have surgery to remove the appendix in some cases the abscess is drained the appendix is removed immediately If you like our presentation please like share and subscribe to our channel and be sure to press the bell icon thank you for watching our video